Hi there, Mark here. Got Rob on the camera. Hiya. Right, today we're going to talk about uh, or show you how to change your standard silver can in a conged for a brushless motor. Well, if you've got a conged and you've got the standard silver can in it, I think you'll know why we want to change it because it's not that quick. Um, it's good fun, but if you're running like I'm in here, the standard uh, 7.2 volt uh, nickel metal hydride then it doesn't really give enough punch and top speed's a bit lacking. We need to get a few revs in there, so the cheapest way of doing this, I think the best way, is to go for a 13.5 or lower um, brushless sensor motor. Now, this is a uh, Turning Your Track Star 13.5, I think that's 3,100 kV, and this is a, an unbranded um, sensor brushless, very similar specs, I think the 13.5 Robbie is about the same as it 3000 kV or 3.1 yes. something like that yeah yeah you can get these in different uh, turns this is a, a 10.5 that Rob's going to put in his wild one um, both of these would go okay with the Tamiya ESC um, the TBL EO2 but I prefer sticking to the 13.5 because I know it'll run all day with that thing in and you won't get any overheating problems so yeah cheapest way of going because We've already got the Tamiya ESC, the TBL02 is um, brushed or brushless, hence the, the three wires for the three phases of the brushless. I'll show you to set that up when we've connected the motor. Now as with most of these um, brushless motors, they don't come with any wires connected. Now um, Rob's bought this uh, kit from the Internet Avenue Rob that give, gives you these cables, yeah. the different colours, um, nice silicon cable but what I've done is strip down an old piece of mains flex, I think 13 amp cable, um, just cut a piece out, strip it back, I think we're going to, I've already put the, the two leads on, I'll show you how to connect the third up, there's no point showing you all of them, so just take the wire out, we've got them soldered on in this direction because obviously we don't want the wires coming out into the path of the wheels, so nice short connection that way and we only need a short bit of lead because it's a short run to the bullet connectors so if I just match this up with those it doesn't matter too much get it somewhere near snip that off and I need to obviously expose the wires in there so that we can solder them okay so that's the one end once you've stripped it off just twist those wires together slightly so they hold together and then do the same with the other end just give it a nip with your cutters and then pull it off there we go so give that a twist and what we need to do is to make a good connection here is to um, tin the uh, bare metal up and tinning is just with the soldering iron and a piece of solder just to applying a bit of solder to coat that bare metal surface. Get yourself some solder, a nice hot, hot soldering iron. You know if it's hot enough, you just melt the solder. There we go. Okay, put the soldering iron underneath and apply your solder. That should be enough. Do the other end. A bit of solder on that and then we do, need to do the same thing to the terminal that you're soldering onto on your on your motor just hold this with the cutters and nice plenty of solder onto the the connector Okay, there's plenty on there now, hopefully I won't need to apply any more solder when I make the connection. Okay, so that's going to go in there. Just trim that down a little bit. Until we've got some different cutters over here. Trim that one back. Ka-ching! Okay. 
we need to get that on there. We can use this old station to hold the wire. A bit of look. They are fiddly, aren't they? Then, it is you? very fiddly, but we can get it somewhere near. Hopefully, when I heat it up, that should make a connection. We'll actually get some solder in there. Basically, you can't add too much solder on this, I don't think. Okay, that's the third wire on now. It's about the right length, as you can see. Now I'm going to put on this standard, um, I think it's an automotive 4mm uh, bullet connector. You can get these off the internet, they're dead cheap. And you can also get a set that comes with a crimping tool that goes with it. So it's the red ones you want, I think the reds are the 4mm and they will go perfectly into the TBLE um, female connector, okay, like that. So we would need to crimp this, basically squash it onto the wire there. I think Rob, you um, you did yours a bit differently, didn't you, with these? I did, They're the same yes. bullets, aren't they? They are, but uh, I couldn't find my crimp tool, ah. so... Uh, I basically cut the plastic insulation off. Okay, so cut that off, yeah? Yeah, and then soldered them in, and then using oh, a pair yeah. of pliers, just tidied the ends up. Got yeah. So with this, um, I'm gonna just push that, make sure the wire goes right into this. There's a small hole, I don't know, Rob, if you can zoom in on that. Can you see there's a small hole inside there? Is the video working on that? Yeah, just about. Okay, your wire's got to go in there, doesn't it? Yeah, I'll see it does. Works. So make sure, you, if you've tinned it, it might be a bit more awkward, but basically, it's got to go right in. And once it's in there, get your crimp tool, get the, the red set in there, and basically, just squash it as hard as you can. There we go, just give it a really tight squeeze. And to make sure, it's give it a good pull. If it's not connected properly, it'll just come off. So I think that's that's got the job done. And again, so that's it. The same with um, the other two. I, obviously, I've already connected them. It's as easy as that, basically. Now that's ready to go. Okay, so we're ready to go. We need to take the standard can off. So obviously, just unplug the bullet connectors. Sometimes this can be more difficult than you think. There we go. Very tight. Okay, in order to take the two screws out that hold the motor, the only thing you need to do is I've already disconnected it, is to uh, take the servo off so that you can get at the, the two screws that hold the motor. I'm just going to unscrew this now, probably fast forward this. On the motor, um, in this, the standard build, it tells you to put this. Um, plate on, it's like a cardboard washer. Um, I recommend you, you do use that for your brushless motor as well. If, if nothing else, it gives it a, a bit of a seal for dust and debris, and also generally put some grease on it uh, just to make sure it seals. Okay, so I need to swap the pinion over, obviously. So just set that distance from um, the base of the motor to the top of the pinion. That's 16 millimeters, I think we've got there. Anyway, all I need to do is make sure it's set the same on the new motor. Just take that off. There we go. Make sure that there's the screws on the flat. check before I tighten it up yeah give it a good nip up I know lots of other people tend to put locking thread lock on there but I haven't had a problem yet without it so no, there we go. Me. that's what we'll do just nip it up generally should do the job okay because this 
motor's got lots of different mounting holes I need to make sure that I use the two that are going to give me the um, the wires or the mount, wire mounts at the top and I think that's this one and this one so just make sure yep yeah, that's those are the two I need to use I'm going to get the plate again and I'm going to put it over the screws before I stick the motor in might be an easy way of doing it okay and the grease I've got in there is kind of holding that on already let's see if I can get off up the, uh, the new motor on those top two can kind of feel when they go in so they're screws in the right place just need to screw those in so all I need to do now is connect the connectors up to the SC um, phase A is blue Make sure that's home right Phase B is yellow, and look at that kind of matches up with my main cable. <laughs> and then orange, and this is kind of a, a brownie orange colour, is phase C. There you go, they're all clicked home nicely. What I'm going to do now then is um, I'm going to put the servo back on, and then I'll show you how to configure up your. TBLE 2 ESC so that it's running in brushless mode and then we'll quickly spark it up make sure it's going okay okay back in a bit right then um, we're nearly there then we're all connected up servos back on one thing we need to do or have to do is put this sensor cable in because censored brushless motor censored ESC without this cable the motor won't go at all Luckily, uh, the Turnegi comes with a cable, and so did the one you bought, didn't it, Rob? It did, yeah, but they're quite short, the ones that you get in the kits. With the blue one? Yeah. So, you bought this one, didn't you, as well? I did. Now, basically, any um, censored cable should fit, any sensor cable should fit. They're, they're just um, a standard connection. Um, it needs to be a minimum of 280mm, um, I think it was. Just check there. It was. I think yours was. I had to go for the 300. I think that was yeah. the longest one I could find. Is that a foot longest, Rob? Yeah. So that's yeah. 11 inches is the the minimum. 280 millimeters. Um, and it it doesn't matter which way around you connect it. Um, it's just a straight through connector. So let's fit this one into the motor. push it all the way in and then the other end goes in the ESC only goes one way around there is an actual little key on the end of the connector to make sure you can only put it in the one way round there you go push it all the way in I'll just leave it loose like that for now just for checking it but basically that's it all wired up we need to set this now to running brushless mode okay to do this bit we need the power on obviously to set the ESC up um, you need to hold down the button before you power the uh, ESC on so with my fat fingers I use the end of a file here you can hear it click and then power it up it should cycle orange red green orange red green let go and orange now it should be going orange and green I need to click that again on orange there you go it's flashing fast orange now to accept that I'll press it again and that beep is showing me now in orange that it's set up for brushless so let's give it a bit of a quick try bring Ariel back in hopefully if I turn this on give it a flick forward and there we have it our Kongeds now set up in brushless mode 
and hopefully we should have a bit more fun with that um, I've got um, a video coming up the speed test comparing the good old silver can with this setup I uh, hope to see you on that video thanks for watching